Okay, hi guys. Welcome back again to our channel, Math Appetite so, with Sir M. Okay, so this time we're going to discuss on the solid figures. Okay, so what is a solid figure? Sometimes solid figures are called uh, space figures. So, a solid figures has uh, 3D uh, or sometimes called 3D shape. So, is it called 3D shape? So, uh, during your last past lessons, you dis we discuss about plane figures. So, plane figures is a 2D shape or 2-dimension shape. So, it means to say it has only two dimensions, the length and the width or the depth. So, this time, solid figures has the dimension. So, uh, uh, one dimension is added. So, so in that solid figure, we can have this length, the width, and the height. So, they, that is why so 3D shapes are also called solid figures. So, in labeling the parts of the solid figure or the 3D shape, so we have here parts of, okay, example of a um, solid figure is a cube so so a cube has par uh, parts first is the face so the face is the flat surface of a 3d shape so this one is the face so there are how many faces does the cube have so we have here so I have here a um, true or real object or a cube that was made by my students. Okay, so can we count the faces of a cube? So let us start with the bottom. We have here one, so the top two, and these faces. So these faces are also called a lateral faces. So, the faces that uh, connect with the base, uh, this one, are what we call the lateral faces. So, so again, how many faces? One, two, three, four, then five then six so there are six faces so again how many lateral faces does the cube have so uh, lateral faces again are the faces that is being joined by the base face no? so the base this the bottom face are what we call the base so the faces that join the bottom face or the base are what we call the lateral faces. So, in a cube, how many lateral faces is found? So, we have here 1, 2, 3, then at the back, 4. So, there are 4 lateral faces. Okay, again, another part is the edge. So, a line where two faces meet are called edge. So, these faces meets with this face. Okay, this face meets with this face and form a line. So, a line here um, is called an edge. Then, this one. This one. So, a hard face. Uh, meets with the diamond uh, face and form a line. So, this line are called the uh, edge. So, if you're going to count, how many edges does the cube have? So, here in our example, we have here. So, we have here, again, one, two, three, four, and then five, Six, seven, and eight, 
and 12. So there are 12 edges. Okay? So there are 12 edges for a cube. Then we have here also the, another part is the vertex. So vertex, it is the point where three or more faces meet. Okay? So this one is the vertex. Okay, so we have here, so the faces that meets in a certain point is called vertex. Okay, so how many vertices does um, a cube have? Okay, let us count. So this one, one, two, three, four. Okay, next, five. 6, 7, and 8. So, there are um, 8 vertices for a cube. The face of a cube is a square. So, it means to say, so a cube has a square face. And so, if it is a square, so all of the sides of these faces are equal in length okay so or this part the edge all of the edges of a cube has an equal length okay next prism so we have example of your uh, prism so what are prisms so a prism is a special kind of a 3d shape or a solid figure so, prisms have two ends which are exactly the same shape and size. So, if a prism is a slice, uh, slice, one of its ends, then the new exposed ends will be exactly the same as the old ones. So, a prism is the same shape and size all the way through. So, example of a prism, we have your hexagonal prism and triangular prism so prism can be identified based on their bases or can be named according to it a uh, solid figure or the prism so it start with the name with example we have here uh, uh, the base is hexagonal so that's why it is called hexagonal prism how about this one so the base here is uh, a tri triangle so that is why it is called triangular prism so another day here is the rectangular prism so rectangular prism so it is called rectangular prism because um, it has the rectangle in its base so uh, what are the key feature of a rectangular pre prism so six faces all are rectangles so we have here also eight vertices and 12 edges. so triangular prism so we have five faces the vertex is six so one two three four five six and the edges is nine we have here so we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine so Okay, triangular prism. So the key picture is uh, it has a triangular cross sections which has five faces. How many faces? We have here one, one face, then two, then three, then the triangle shape, four, then five. So there are five faces. And the vertices we have here. Excuse me. We have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So there are 6 vertices. Next, we have the 
edges so it can can we count on 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there are 9 edges next we have the regular tetrahedron so tetrahedron or what we call the pyramid so there are four faces which are equilateral triangles okay so the, how many faces one two three and then four then vertices has four vertices and the edges is six okay spear so keep picture of a spear so every point of a surface of a spear is the same distance from the center so we're going to okay this is the center so you're going to draw a line here and a line also here from the center so this one this line here and this line here are equal so it means to say that equi distance so a point uh, from the surface from the center of the surface is equi distance so if we're going to draw a line from the center to here so this line is equidistant or equal in distance so faces versus and corner the normal definition of faces are not appropriate for a sphere okay so there are no faces vertices and edges that as that is found in the sphere okay so si cylinder so cylinder or cylinder so the key feature of a cylinder is a prism with a circular cross section so still it is called a prism so again the normal definition of the faces vertices and edges are not appropriate for a cylinder so we cannot find faces vertices and edges for a cylinder but still it is a solid figure so key feature so the point of a cone is directly above the center of a circular so so the center of the circle here of the cone is directly above the uh, above the tip of a cone okay so the normal definition of faces and vertices are not uh, appropriate for the cone so there are no vertices no faces and edges for a cone but still it is a solid figure so again a square base pyramid so so we are here the key picture so a shape with a square base base and a triangular sides that meet at the point okay so face there are five pieces so we have here one two three four and the base which is five next the vertices we have here one two three four five then the edges is eight one two three four five six seven eight so there are eight so uh, more on uh, solid figure space figure so what are you going to do here is we're going to drag each picture below to corresponding solid figure or space figure so this is that uh, 10 when we are going to have a camping so when I, what are what shape or what solid figure is appropriate for this figure so it is the triangular prism okay correct next we have here uh, a half of an orange so it is in hemisphere what is it the hemisphere so hemi means one one half so sphere so it is called uh, one half of a sphere or what we call the hemisphere it means to say hemisphere is one half of the sphere so uh, this cut or cross section 
of a sphere is what we call hemisphere. Okay. Next, we have also here truncated cone. So the cross section of a cone is called truncated cone. Okay. Next, we have here okay a cube. Correct. This one. So we have here a pyramid. So it, so we have to match with this hexagonal pyramid. Again, uh, hexagonal. What way is it uh, called hexagonal pyramid? Because the base is shaped as hexagon. So it has six sides. Okay, one, two, three, four. Five, six. So that is why it is called hexagonal pyramid. So we're going to uh, pyramid this hexagonal pyramid. Okay. How about this one, the donut? So it is pyramid in the torus. Next we have here the box. Okay, box is uh, regularly uh, shaped as rectangular. Reason. Okay. 